Okay, here's a little bit of uh, old school technology for you guys out there in YouTube land. And this is the Sharp Zaris ZR3500X. And this is an old style clamshell uh, PDA. And this came out sometime in the mid 1990s, I believe it was. And was probably one of the, in, in my opinion, was one of the uh, better offerings out there at that time. This guy predates the Apple uh, iPhone, the iPod, uh, and all some of the latest gadgets uh, that have since come out. Uh, a lot of these features now can probably be performed on cell phones these days, some of those uh, smartphones, but uh, this goes back to the beginning of that type of uh, thinking where you can actually have a relatively compact and mobile device that can perform many functions uh, similar to a small computer. Uh, as you see this one has the QWERTY uh, keyboard here and these are all raised plastic keys. Uh, this also has a communication port on the side and you can hook this up to um, different uh, devices uh, for printing and other such things. This also has a fax modem on here so you could actually uh, fax someone documents that you actually create on this particular device so that then they can have a personal copy uh, or a paper copy. Uh, right here is the stylus in its own little uh, slot and it also has an, uh, an infrared device here so that you can actually sync this with uh, some other devices or just communicate um, information to that other device. Alright, so uh, let's open this up and let me go to macro mode so we can see this a little better. Okay, uh, we are now in macro mode and you can see the reflection of my camera there. And I'll just pull it up a little closer so you can see some of the uh, features that it has actually on the screen. And one of the things about this unit as well is that this is a touch screen. And bear in mind that this is something that goes back to the mid to late 1990s or actually I should just say uh, mid 1990s since that's when it was created it lasted until the uh, until the late 90s I would assume uh, I got this sometime in the mid 90s I think I got this in 95 or 96 uh, this was around the time that Windows 95 was out and if you take a look at the manual and such okay there you are it's the uh, actual the operation manual and you can see this guy is pretty meaty here and here are the floppy disks that you can load into your home computer or your desktop computer and you see Zars applications for Windows 95 so this was 96 so that's probably around the time that I purchased it and uh, find out why Zaris users are turning to CompuServe. CompuServe is one of the old uh, bulletin board services that was in existence back then. Uh, this was pretty much, I wouldn't necessarily say pre-internet, but it was, or pre-World Wide Web, but it was going back to the very beginnings of it. Um, as you older people may recall, uh, such services such as CompuServe and AOL were more like bulletin board services. Uh, they were self-contained and anything that you wanted to research would have had to have been actually on the bulletin board service. So uh, you were pretty limited in access back then but that changed uh, right around this time too. Um, I don't want to give an entire history of the uh, internet but because uh, you know uh, I haven't researched it and 
memory is uh, one of those things that's pretty fallible <laughs> so I don't want to rely on my memory and Zmail uh, keep all your email as close as your czar so this was another thing that you could do you could uh, actually email uh, using this enhance your czars so there were all sorts of uh, I guess today we would call them uh, apps that you could actually uh, have on this and essentially these uh, are I guess more program than app although I'm not sure exactly what the difference between the app and a program is you know I'm stuck in the old days um, so you could actually load things that are a little more powerful uh, than what was actually loaded um, on the unit as you purchased it and here again is the operation manual and that's for spreadsheet and communications that way you could um, use this to learn more about actually how to use their um, spreadsheets and how to use this for communicating and this is the uh, application partner uh, this is uh, something that I think if I'm not mistaken there you go allows you to uh, synchronize your czars with act or schedule plus so um, yeah this was something that would allow you to um, further use of the unit to make it even more powerful and as I said this is uh, 1990s technology and let me just turn it on real quick for you All right. yeah, it doesn't want to turn on now Okay, let me uh, change the batteries real quick. I'm using some real cheap uh, Sunbeam batteries for this. So let me just uh, change the batteries on this. They're working fine a minute ago. But that's the way it is when you try to make YouTube videos sometimes. Be back in the flash. Okay, I have quickly changed the batteries and we'll give it another shot. And there you go. Okay, um, this, as I was saying, is one of the early touch screens and all of this is actually on the screen as well so all these you can just uh, touch and bring up whatever you need so if you need to uh, bring up your spreadsheets you can just punch on that and your spreadsheet comes up if I remember correctly this was also uh, compatible with Excel so you could um, use this across platforms uh, if you need to call up a uh, document you can just click on that and then you can type in using this rather substantial keyboard substantial for a uh, PDA of the time uh, you can just type it in and do whatever you need to do that's just gibberish at the, at the, by the way and if you want to do some notes you just click on notes or touch notes I'll show you that again hit notes and you can actually write on that as well now I don't recall whether or not this will uh, transfer it into uh, text but um, in any case if you just want to hand write something down there uh, you can do that if you want to draw something whatever um, you can do that and you can save this and you can fax this and this as I said was a uh, um, pretty useful instrument I got a lot of use out of this back in the day um, and unfortunately one of the weak points on this unit let me just uh -oh, see here do I have to save this or let me see here. Edit. Let me 
note saved so it's not let me turn it off not sure exactly why it's not let me turn it off and you can see the date there let me see here January 1 1997 so this is definitely uh, pre Y2K yeah, I'm not sure exactly why it's not turning off but I wanted to show you one of the shortcomings of this was the hinge here now very much like a laptop when you open it up and you feel the resistance you used to feel that with this as well but when the uh, the hinge broke and my understanding is this was pretty um, pretty endemic with this particular type of uh, unit there was a spring in here that put the tension on the lid and the base and held things in place as you can see now it's a little loose and flimsy there which is unfortunate because as I said uh, this was a nice unit uh, of course time has passed it by but I thought that some of the uh, tech heads out there uh, some of those who may have actually had some of the old style PDAs would find this video interesting um, if you want any more information about this uh, definitely let me know and uh, I'll try to uh, do my best to get it to you regarding this particular unit um, you know, just to get uh, a size comparison we'll bring down the dollar bill once again and you can see the size of that um, it's about this it's a little bigger than a dollar bill so it's uh, pretty much almost like checkbook size and there you have it alright thanks for watching and once again let me know what you think about my old ancient technology the old sharp, sharp Zaurus ZR3500X thanks for watching bye bye